Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Savannah. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show. We cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment. We want to give you guys a fresh perspective on things in our way. And today we have probably one of the funniest shows we produce in a long while. But before we even get into it, please make sure you like the video uh, and subscribe to the channel. Now, this, this particular topic, in my personal view, is going to be absolutely hilarious. Uh, as you guys know, LeBron fans are a special group. These fellows are unique, right? They sit there and they twerk it up all day long. They run around the internet looking for people that are saying negative things about him. And then they just basically fight you in the comment section. Like LeBron fans do not play when it comes to, they don't joke around with, they don't play with him. It's not a game with these dudes. As I said in some of the previous shows we produced over the last week, I've seen LeBron fans fall out with each other. For because one of them had a strong opinion or two about LeBron, and they're both LeBron fans. The other one goes, "No, this is unacceptable. This is this is unacceptable. This is unacceptable. How dare you not twerk with me all the time? I mean, what's wrong with you? Did you run out of honey? Why didn't you let me know? Why didn't you let me know there was no more honey? I could have given you a year supply. So you'd be rubbing it all over your belly while you holler and scream LeBron James's name. This is what they do. And they're in the corner sitting there beating their meat with a bucket of honey next to them, looking at LeBron highlights." And the minute one of them said one thing, they was like, no, bring him in. We got to correct him. We got to correct him. We got to correct him. Something is wrong. Something is wrong with this guy. So what happened? Yesterday, I was going through the internet. And a video was recommended to me. The, the, the thumbnail alone had me on the floor. Okay. And the title. We want to put up the thumbnail and the video of his, uh, itself. And it's from the channel Commissioner Dynamo. And he had the following thumbnail. I am the GOAT now with, I mean, this is hilarious. And then he wrote, LeBron calls himself GOAT again. And humility is punching the air. The title alone had me cracking up. So what happened? I clicked on the video to see what this gentleman was talking about. And what ensued was just absolutely pure, unadulterated comedy. And it's important that I preface these comments by saying this. This guy is a LeBron guy and he has LeBron James for whatever reason, I don't know why, as the second greatest player of all time. I want you guys to listen to a LeBron James fan express his dis, his dis, I mean, his total disgust of LeBron James and his ridiculous antics. Take a listen to what this gentleman had to say here. He'll always be his dad, he'll always be his son, but what's your working relationship? Is he gonna call you dad at practice? He can't, we already laid that down. <laughs> he cannot call me dad in the workplace. Once we leave out of the private facility and the gates close, I could be dad, dad again. again. He gotta call me like two, three, or Brian. Okay. Or, you know, go if he want to, <laughs> that's up to him. I'm merely criticizing someone's arrogance, a certain someone in particular who just so happens to be on my number two of all time NBA players, second to Jordan. But he makes it so damn hard to root for him. His excuses, passive aggressiveness, and flapping irritates me to no end. But I don't hate him. Unlike some, I don't hate him. I very much enjoyed his performance in the Olympics. He was incredible. He was a leader on and off the floor. And there were multiple games Team USA would have lost had it not been for his efforts. To see LeBron and Curry finally play alongside each other with Durant in tow, oh! And to watch Sith, yes, Sith Curry put an entire nation to sleep? This man quite literally said before our very eyes he would rather his own son call him GOAT than dad. As if calling him dad on the court or in the locker room is somehow more cringe or unsettling than calling him GOAT. Bro, it's not that deep. He's just joking. No, it's not. This man is the only one I have ever been okay with saying they were the greatest. The same goes to Bill Russell, if he had said it, but he never did. These two men had more than enough accolades to call themselves the greatest, but it wasn't just because of what they did in their professional sports career. It is because of what they faced, what they suffered through, and how they pushed the human condition forward. What these two men did was far greater than anything Jordan has ever done. I do not give a damn if it's contradictory. Unless you're these two men, and particularly Muhammad Ali, 
The words I am the greatest should never enter your lexicon. These men broke down racial barriers, social economic barriers, greatness on and off the court in the ring. They damn near needed armed security and bulletproof vests to play sports. Meanwhile, LeBron can't handle nor will engage in one-on-one -on -one practice. When you go to Team USA, like, you damn near like sizing everybody up. It's cool to be out here, we all cool, but when practice starts, you seeing how them up and what they do post practice, everybody's still still competitive and you still like trying to see what everybody, you know, what they doing. So it definitely it it would get like that for sure. If coach come in and he's just like, you know how to do the football drill, the ring of fire, where they just call out two mm -hmm. names and they gotta go at it like head to head. Coach comes in, he's just like, JT, Brian, the 10, let's go. You shoot for ball. You know what I'm saying? Like, Brian ain't playing. <laughs> <laughs> Well, like, yo, fuck out of here. What? <laughs> you know, he's like, right, play. It'll be JT, Ant, KD, KD book, book, Steph will jump in there a little bit. Kawhi play? I think you would. Who's sitting out? I just told you. <laughs> <laughs> I feel confident because I'm the best player in the world. That's simple. So you heard him. I mean, you heard him. You were, what? What amazes me is this. This guy was actually pointing out the things that turn off a lot of NBA fans about LeBron. A lot. And somehow, some way, he, find a, he found a way to hold on. I, I, you know, I just, before, seriously, when we came up with the concept to shoot this video, I was sitting there thinking to myself as I was working, I was like, I'm like, I'm like, how did they do it? How did LeBron fans do it? How did they do it? How did they do it? You know, how did they do it? What do they see that we don't see? I'm trying to find out what do LeBron fans see that we don't see. What is, I'm trying to figure it out. Like, you sit down, you think about it, and you're like, nah, I don't get it. Y'all be y'all feeling this? Y'all be feeling that? For real, y'all feeling that? You feeling this dude telling his he got his wife on TV talking about the y'all feeling that? Don't call me. You can call me 23, or you can go ahead and call me to go. Y'all. It is so cringe. Y'all feeling that? Would y'all y'all be y'all be feeling that? Y'all be vibing with that? Ugh, ugh. Y'all like that? I mean, y'all really jacking LeBron? I, I I I just don't get it. And his fans were in the comment section, basically hollering and screaming. I I do not get. I don't understand it. I don't get it. I really don't. Y'all, they love it. I mean, first of all, first of all, let's get back to his comments. The guy said, you can call me to, ain't nobody calling no damn LeBron James, no damn 23. Like, what are we even talking about? Who is, who is calling LeBron James 23? Who? Call me. You go ahead and call me 23. Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. We're going to call you 23. Ain't nobody calling LeBron 23. And, I, and he said, some of y'all going to be like, oh, well, you know, he just, he just, he, he, he just playing. He just joking. Then you got this dude, Commissioner, Di Commissioner Dynamo, basically, first of all, that's a hilarious name. Commissioner Dynamo going out there and saying, he's not. And then you know what he did? He started giving more examples of these antics. You heard what he said? Did. Well, you know. We gonna do it because I'm the best player in the world. It almost sounded like as if he was trying to he was trying to convince himself and try to get validation from people. That's what it sounds like to me. To me, this this incessant need to get people to call you to go it shows that you really don't believe it. It shows that you don't believe it. To be quite frank with you, if you got a billion dollars, you don't need nobody to confirm that you got a billion dollars. If a joker run up to you on the street talking about you broke because you got on some flip flops, some gym shorts, and a and a white tee, he like you look at this bum ass. You know what? He ain't got no money, and he dressed in all whatever the hell he dressed in. But you got a billion sitting in the bank. If you sit there and argue with his ass, you ain't got a billion dollars. Because if you got a billion dollars, you don't need to prove nothing to nobody. You know you already you already the you know you know what I'm saying you already it. It's within you. You know it. Number one. And number two, other people will be validating. Like, yo, he got it. He a baller. 
that's a big boy, right? Like he, that's a big boy. Forget how he dressing. He just being low key today. Forget how he's moving. Yeah, he brought out the Tesla. Don't get it twisted. He got about four or five Bugattis parked around. Don't get it twisted. He probably just don't want attention or he may he don't feel like flossing today. He got it. So for you to feel like you got to. I'm the king. I'm the king. Remind me I'm the king. It's like, bro, who, what are you doing? What are you doing? I don't know. Shout out to Commissioner Dynamo. I don't know who he is, but that video was hilarious. LeBron fans. Discuss this amongst yourselves. What do you think? How do y'all feel? And a matter of fact, I want to go out with this question. LeBron fans, let me just, just answer this for me. The question is, LeBron fans, y'all really be y'all really like this? Y'all really like these antics? Y'all, y'all like it? Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. We're gonna catch y'all in the next video. I'm out. Peace.